So I got Stitching Style Frankenstein in the mail today from Amazon Canada. I ordered her on Friday and she arrived just now. She came in this big box with bubble wrap plastic, whatever you call that. And then she came inside this box, Mattel box, and wrapped in this plastic. Same thing for like Holiday Claudine and uh, Cleo and Deuce. So here she is. I already posted uh, the unboxing on TikTok and um, on Instagram. Uh, it's by the same username. She comes with the stands. Uh, and she comes with the... I don't know. If she, I don't think she comes with a brush. I don't know if she comes with a, the, uh, a certificate of authenticity or not. I really like her box. It's way smaller, which is nice because I don't have a lot of space. I'm not planning to unbox her because she was, uh, so she's 45 US on Amazon.com, but in Canadian, instead of being $70 Canadian, she was 80 Canadian. So I paid 91 Canadian with taxes, which is fucking ridiculous for one fucking doll. Um, I could always return her if she goes down in price. I should do the same thing for uh, my holiday clothing, to be honest, because my holiday clothing, I pre-ordered her and I got her and she was more expensive. And then the day I got her, she went out in price to $50. So it's kind of like, an it's annoying that I could have paid way less if I had waited. But the thing is, sometimes you wait, especially here in Canada, and then we don't get the dolls or they go out of stock and then we have to wait forever to for them to get back in stock if they do come back in stock. Plus, why, like, why would I know that she was going to go on sale, you know? Like, she's a doll that just came out, but... It would be a $10 difference, I think, maybe, if I return my holiday clothing, but I'm not sure. And her, uh, I will see if she goes on, I'll see if she goes on sale, and if she does. Maybe I'll try that, too. But I don't know, because I've never done it. So, her box says Stitching Style Frankenstein. It has, like, scissors and some chains. Kind of like, kind of looks like barbed wire, I don't know. And then the background is, like, a big curtain with the same pattern as her, uh, skirt and then it says monster high there's her clear stands the side of the box very reminiscent of the g1 box this is the top of the box the back stitching style frankenstein here's frankie and then it says frankenstein is stitched together in a look that electrifies stitching style with edge frankenstein stands in a discon disconstructed Couture gown that celebrates the timeless art of tailoring and dressmaking. Reminiscent of a dress mannequin, a halter busti bustier with top stitching is paired with a ruched overskirt with asymmetric layers of creep cre creeperific to a um, ascended? Ascended? Wouldn't it be accentuate? I don't know. With a dramatic chain, a gorgeous caged headdress with a crown of needles and matching chain bracelets creates high voltage fashion. Her look is finished with patchwork stilettos with a chic needle point heel. Elegant electrifying. Frankenstein is perfectly pulled together in a look that will have ghouls falling apart at the seams. <laughs> That's cute. And then here's the other side, which you can kind of see. Oh, and there's a skelet and another lightning bolt so you could kind of like whoa jeez you could kind of display display her like this especially like now that i don't have space so here she is she comes with a little like half up half down updo with a little bun on the top her bangs are really nice uh they're straight and even uh she has true fun true two front pieces white pieces of hair that uh hang around her face but one is pulled back with the, like the um, the little um, uh, plastic ties, and the other one is just in just more hanging loose. Just the end is hang is um, tied, and then she has the crown is like needles, I think, and then there's the chains and the safety pins all around her hair. Then she has some needles that are earrings. Her lipstick is like dark gray, kind of metallic. Her eyeshadow is blue in and gray. Uh, her eyes are one is blue, the other one is green. Her uh, in one arm she has bracelets, and they're separate bracelets. One on the upper arm, the other one on the forearm, 
And there are again chains. Chains or um, barbed wire. Her uh, top is like a short crop top. And it's black. And it, it's like this. It's uh, the type of material like uh, fake leather. And then she has like. Um, like it it uh, ties it in the in the neck at the neck. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it has like a bow in the back. You can tie like it's not with Velcro, and it's like fishnet. The the way tie, uh, the way the the front of it looks, and then the, it, she has a big long skirt, and it has the same pattern as the G one Frankenstein from the fairy tale line. It's the thread threadbella threadella w w whatever it's called. And it's the same pattern. And it's a very similar pattern to other, like, her outfits, I think, in G1. And it's uh, gathered at the top, at her waist. And then it has this belt. Again, it's gray, metallic, you know. Uh, more like gray. It's not really metallic. And it has, like, a bunch of chains and barbed wire. Barbed wire it has, like, a pair of scissors on there. And it's all around her uh, dress. Safety pins, too, down there. And then she has underneath the fabric, uh, she has another, um, like, she has black tulle and blue tulle. And it's gathered in some, in some parts, the skirts. And then her heels are gray, the same color as the chains. Maybe even lighter, lighter. And then it has, like, a black, um, uh, like, bottom, like, sole. And um what is it called heel it's like a needle yeah and the the shoes also have like a little bit of like stitching to them plastic and uh, they wrap around her uh, ankle in plastic too not fabric and uh there she is i think she's gonna look really nicely with uh the re reproduction of um g1 frankie I definitely, I just have to find the space. The box also, like, seems like it's stitched together. Same tone of blue, too. I wonder if they'll make more dolls in this, like, theme or something. Like, similar theme. Not stitched in, but, like, in the same type of box. That would be nice. Honestly, it would have been nice if, um... Frankie... Not Frankie, what the fuck? Um... Claudine, Holiday Claudine, would have come in a small box like this, honestly. Even Draculaura, holiday Draculaura, yeah. I mean, I get it. Like, why Cleo and Dustin? Because they're it's a two pack, so and they come with more stuff. But like for holiday Claudine and Draculaura, their dresses are thin, like not not thin, but like not puffy, not huge. So I feel like in a box like this, it would have worked. But and they could have had the same designs around the box. But yeah, I really like this Frankie. I, w I just wish that in Canadian dollars it would have been cheaper. Like, because 50 US is the equivalent of 60 Canadian, but she was 80. So, yeah. And I don't know if I want to go to the trouble of, like, having to return f uh, her to um, Amazon and then have to wait to to uh, get refunded and stuff. And then there's I might need that money for other dolls or something. I don't know. But, yeah, here she is. And that's her barcode. Proof of purchase. Uh, one certificate, one doll stand, one doll. Yeah, no brush. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye!